Fellow Real Talk with Mo. Glad you could join me. Um, once again, we're back at it. We're going to get in a few things. You know, it's a beautiful day today out here in sunny South Florida. You know, it's a little chilly, you know, especially if you're Floridian. If you're from up north, this is this is nothing for you. But it's, it's like 40s, 50s, it's cold. So, you know, how I keep warm, I'm just going to tell you, you know, my CB lifestyle and apparel sweater. Um, you know, the logo on the side. It's a beautiful sweater very comfortable very warm if you get a little cold you know you could just drop the top I mean pull the top up you know what I mean and you're very warm so check me out www.cblifestyleandapparel.com also check out the Lou and Mo podcast and definitely like subscribe share comment um, love to hear back from you um, just a growing channel uh, like I said a real person coming up with real solutions I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything um, and also I'm, I'm very authentic very original like the same way I'm talking to you is the same way I talk out in public with people, you know, friends, right? I don't change up for the mic. And that's one thing I wanted to, to get into on this video. Uh, so we might as well start off with, nah, you know what, we'll, we'll go to the some of the events that are going on. Um, and then I'll get into that too. Um, so like I said, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, the big thing going on right now uh, is this Neil Young and Joe Rogan thing. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to think about it. First thing that came to my mind was, who is Neil Young? I don't even know who that is, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm 40 years old, and I don't know who he is. So he obviously has to be in my mom's era, 70s, 60s, maybe, uh, year old people listening to him. So if he jumps off Spotify, I don't know if they're going to be, like, losing customers or whatever. To be honest with you, they'd have to go over, you know, what their customer band is. If it's... Especially when somebody's making demands like that, like get rid of somebody else or I'm going to get off. That's kind of like childish, right? Like I'm going to take my ball and go home type of thing. Like just speak against his what he's saying. You know what I mean? It don't Just go against his ideas. Don't come up with that whole, oh, I'm going <laughs> to, no, I'm going to, you're going to take my stuff off before. I think that's kind of child. I think that's silly. Um, I don't know who he is, but I know a lot of people started to join him. A lot of names, again, that I wouldn't even know. I think there was like a, a Johnny Mitchell, um, I think even like Peter Frampton or something. Uh, it was a bunch of them, but they all had to be in my mom's like 50s and the, I mean not 50s, probably like 60s and 70s or whatever. My mom, yeah, probably back 60s, 70s. I don't know who they are. I don't really care. Um, I would much if they leave. I don't think it's gonna not for me personally, um, but I think for the majority of people too, especially in this era, these age. That has to be a long time ago. That has to be like for the grandmas and grandpas. But uh, yeah, so that's the big beef going on with him. I don't know if even Joe Rogan replied to it. I haven't even looked into it. I just been seeing a lot of people posting about it. Um, and like I said, man, if you're trying to censor somebody for what they say, like you can check them on you know the facts, right? Like when uh, he had uh, the guy from CNN, uh, uh, Sanjay Gupta, he had him on there. Like check him on the facts. That's all you got to do. Right, if he's saying something that's wrong, check him there, correct it. And that's why I like Joe Rogan's whole interview platform. I like his platform, period, is because they can have those deep conversations. They can get into to questioning each other and, you know, getting answers, right? It's not about just hit you with the gotcha question and then or give you some question that you have no answer for that maybe you're going to, you know, make a mistake on and then they're going to put that as a clip or they're going to put that as the, the ad. Um... So, you know what I mean? Like, if he wanted to really have that de debate with him, they have that debate with him. Um, or have that conversation with him. But the whole, like, you know, if you got... <laughs> give it as a man to Spotify, it's like, come on, bro. Like, that's so... It's so weak. It's weak. It's childish. I, I, th I don't think it's very... Uh, I don't think it's manly either. I don't think it's like a man thing. Like, check him on the facts. Right? Tell people what he's saying wrong. Right? Go that route. Um... Because there's so much stuff on the internet that you could do that for. Like, people, there's, there's channels with flat earth, right? And I'm not going to get into flat earth with people, right? You can talk to a scientist or whatever. But people, like, they have millions of channels with flat earthers. Nobody's talking about banning them or getting rid of them. It's plenty of people I remember, to be honest with you, you know, when Dr. Sebi was a lot, right? Or when he was real pre uh, pre prevalent. Like, he was real, you know, in the news all the time for his cures and stuff. People was going hard at that, man. They was going hard. They was, you know, spit, spitting whatever that is. I don't, and I, and to me, I'll be honest with you, I don't know the truth. I don't know, you know, if it was working or it wasn't working. That's not up for up to me. That's, they want to debate that and hit him, hit his facts with their facts and then go along with that and go back and forth. Cool. 
nobody was banning him you know what I mean from the from saying it or or you know even I get at one point I guess performing it they did stop him because he wasn't I don't know the whole situation but I know he had like lawsuits and shit but like even then man like people spew all sorts of shit on the internet and now it's just because he has a lot of people that follow him but not everybody this is the problem I don't know if it's just these people that say that but just because I follow somebody don't mean that everything that they listen to or say I go with and you can see that with a lot of people Right, you could say like I'm 40, but even people in 30s and 20s, they're not listening to, they're not hanging on every word that some celebrity says, right? Just because you get a celebrity to go up there and say, uh, you know, get the vaccine, you think like hundreds of people are gonna be like, I mean, millions of people are gonna be like, oh man, since uh, you know Lady Gaga said it, we gotta go do it. People don't function like that, man. Some people think for themselves, and that's the problem. They don't, they don't think that people think for themselves, and they go on these, these rants, and it's like, I mean, they go on with these. Uh, Promotional tours about shit And it's like bro nobody ain't listening to that Just like I just seen uh, Lori Lightfoot put up something about uh, You know cause everybody's doing the money thing You know another <laughs> Another TikTok trend whatever Everybody loves to do follow shit um, But it, she put up uh, Get the vax or get vaxxed or something In money right And I'm like that shit's cheesy That's corny bro It's cringy it's corny right that's not you just going along whatever the, that ain't gonna listen just because you put that up the people in your city whatever they're not like oh man since Lori Lightfoot put it in get vaxxed let's go get vaccinated come on man like it's, it's just stupid man I think it's dumb um, whoever's promoting it you know should know better right act like act, act like a dog act like congressmen governors mayor uh, that I that's what I want you to do do that do that type of stuff stop worrying about trying to promote and you know get people to do things just because you know what i mean like just start trying to manipulate people i don't like that shit so you know the neil young thing was the one thing 